Hello, today I've got a bit of nostalgic review because you know reviewing the Sonic in ear monitors took me like five years back in time or so when the Sonic uh, GR07 base was one of the best uh, in ear monitors ever and probably the best dynamic driver in ear monitors available on the market. At that time, that uh, dynamic driver with biocellulose uh, diaphragm was uh, truly innovative, offering a really spacious stage and uh, good bass and really balanced sound. At that time, you know, $200 in-ear monitors or I don't remember exact cost, I thought it, it cost about $200 and it was uh, really expensive uh, earphones. Well, time changed quickly we have to grow up early and uh, now the Sonic VS07 is definitely a succeeder of that uh, GR07 but now they are actually priced even uh, more affordable there are three different versions uh, black metal one sorry missed I missed here is black metal one, transparent acryl one and also there is a chrome plated version and this costs about $110 and that, this uh, about $130 and uh, actually pretty good affordable price. I will put links to the shop in the description and uh, now let's have a closer look. Actually I thought initially to create uh, two separate reviews but uh, honestly sound is really close and Accessory set and everything else is also pretty close, so there will be one video. Package is super stylish. I really like unusual package, unusual boxes and this red tube is great. It was wrapped in plastic, here was seal uh, showing that no one opened this, uh, uh, this box before, but uh, I already opened it. And here you will have earphones themselves. So let's put them out. Unpack it. Stock cable. Additional set of tips. One, two, three, four, five pairs. And uh, carrying pouch. Pretty simple, but uh, looks really attractive. And small tiny manual slash warranty card. So what is interesting it's 11 mm dynamic driver, 24 ohms of impedance and 111 decibels of sensitivity and wide frequency response. So everything is pretty normal in terms of specifications. And of course same package, same earphones, same accessory set, so everything is totally similar. The only exception is that uh, these tips are made of white silicone, not the grey one. In terms of design and build quality they are also really nice. So here is transparent one, as you can see they've uh, implemented really unusual idea. Faceplate works as, as magnifying glass, so they show the internal driver with a bit of zoom effect and it looks really nice. And you can see driver from this side. Actually nice ergonomic shape, they fit in nicely into ears, uh, at least mine and uh, causing zero discomfort even during long wearing sessions. They have a nice build quality, not sure how they will behave after a few years, but uh, at first impression they are built really well. Nice uh, average length uh, tube, actually average length spout with protective grill with uh, metal lip for tips holding. They are providing even a bit above average sound isolation, mainly because uh, tips, as you can see, they have unusual shape of tips. They are a bit uh, longer than traditional and when you finding the proper tip, they are inserting deeper into your ear channels and uh, because of that sound isolation is uh, even better than traditional. Cables are made replaceable. 
they are using two pin connectors, a bit unusual with recessed pins, but uh, I think stand standard pins will also go. It's hard to see the letter, actually it's the right earpiece. And the left one. Stock cable is good, it has ear hook formed, there is no memory wire insert inside, so you can't bend it, but it's pretty good at providing secure holding of the cable. Cable itself is pretty soft, it has a bit of microphonic, but thanks to these ear hooks you that won't be an issue for you. And another unusual idea, you can see the shape of the splitter, so it's a horizontal and uh, it's adding a tiny bit of comfort, so wider spread and uh, less issues with wearing. And here it goes braided below to the angle jack, so pretty nice cable, it's not getting hard when it's cold, it's not tangling, easy, tangling easily. And the metal version, it's a bit heavier, but has, they have same shape. A bit heavier, probably, you know, it's more of a cosmetic difference, just for those who prefer metal, metal shells. Same uh, spouts and a bit different design of the protective uh, grill, but uh, no big difference. Also lip, also nice build quality, same uh, uh, two pin connector, so it's all the difference. So probably you need to decide just what you need, uh, what you like. <coughs> Transparent acryl or this stylish black metal version. And of course about the sound, uh, first of all these uh, earphones require burn-in about 30 hours or so and they also require careful tip selection because uh, stock tips as I've showed you are a bit unusual so they require a bit of more uh, attempts to find the proper version, but b besides that uh, it's uh, really comfortable in ear monitors and with uh, properly selected tips they will provide you really good, uh, lush, rich sound tuned for those who don't like sharp treble. So they are a bit on the warmer side, but not because of bass domination, but uh, just because of a bit uh, uh, smoother treble, so let's have player on the table and talk about everything in more details. So bass is really enjoyable, you know uh, GR07 was uh, popular among bass lovers and this model is no exception too. It's not a bass head model, it has only slight uh, bass accent, but at the same time they really good in finding proper balance between uh, weight and uh, speed, between resolution and uh, impact, between depth and control, so everything is pretty good. They have uh, good the depth of, of the low frequencies, they have uh, good impact, they have good weight, uh, they are really nice in representing texturing. Of course, don't expect, you know, some bass heavy representation, don't expect some rumbling super accented kicks, they just will play as much bass as it, it's present in the record. So it's not a model for those who like uh, really elevated and accented bass, but uh, they are really good in representing what is in the record. And especially they are good with acoustic instruments, acoustic bass, for example, lower notes of uh, fortepiano are sounding really great. But uh, as an example, I've selected different track. Here it is, it's Caravan Palace. Uh, Actually, what is it? It's kind of electro swing or something like that, mix of electronic and uh, swing music. And of course, it has really noticeable bass line, uh, but also it's not, you know, common electronic, uh, electronic music synthesized bass. It's more natural. There is acoustic bass present, but uh, 
nice drum kick also here and uh, these earphones are really good with such music mids are also really well balanced they are not uh, as detailed as balanced armature ones but they don't like ink resolution and they providing you a good weight and because of uh, proper weight balance uh, you know actually i think that resolution is overestimated in the iem's world because everyone are everyone wants uh, more resolution but actually some super resolving in ear monitors are no, sometimes it's not a plus because they require proper records they require some high-end source and uh, still they sometimes they don't sound uh, natural but uh, what for me what is important for me it's a proper weight because uh, when there is a weight there is a sense of naturalness there is a sense of uh, there is an emotion there is a macro uh, contrast and it sounds more enjoyable at least to my ears and that's when where these uh, in-ear monitors really shine they have good weight and uh, because of proper weight uh, they really great with vocal both female and male ones uh, sounding really you know they are moving uh, vocal a bit forward and it increases the sense of de depth the sense of stage and actually speaking about stage they are really spacious both in width and in depth and it's you know surprising for such an inexpensive model maybe it's not the biggest in ear monitors for in terms of stage but one, uh, probably the biggest in this price range at least for me because you know staging is subjective and as an example i've decided to use one of the most signature vocals in the history of the world music it's uh, bob marley it, and uh, Actually, I could took every any single track, but uh, Shuffle bring me this Buffalo Soldier, and uh, this uh, in-ear monitors are really good in representing all necessary vibes, are good in representing all necessary emotions, and uh, they are really good in uh, putting enough of weight to the voice. And uh, treble, treble is uh, built or tailored in a comfortable way. They are no, never sounding sharp, sibilant, uh, uh, aggressive, and they have a, a roll off above 10 kilohertz, probably at about 12 kilohertz area. After that, they have roll off, so they don't have super extension in ultra high uh, frequencies area, but uh, part below 20 kilohertz sounding pretty well. It's not the biggest uh, resolution, but still have normal resolution attacks and decays are a bit slower than they should be but it's still sounding really natural and uh, what is important in balancing low frequencies uh, really nicely so it's not ultra resolving but at the same time they are comfortable not too sharp and actually they are okay in representing all necessary overtones on the upper frequencies and as an example i've got a bit unusual track but if you are a fan of uh, some avant-garde jazz or uh, some psychedelic rock uh, french group artzoid that exists for many many years uh, it, it's definitely and if you didn't heard it i definitely recommend it to you it's probably the most experimental group in my collection and uh, there are a lot of great tracks made by them but move on uh, to is uh, great example for the treble because it main line is a fortepiano with some you know i probably call that hysterical notes and sometimes appear violin and other instruments from the orchestra like they're playing just for, for a short period of time and you know it's kind of it reminds me some uh, horror movie classical horror movie soundtrack like and violin is representing some scaring scary screams and as you can probably imagine this track require nice uh, treble response not uh, in terms of extension or super resolution but in terms of balance and this uh, in-ear monitors definitely gives that and uh, actually this black metal version i did a lot of a b tests i wanted to find uh, some huge difference but uh, 
Actually, the only difference I clearly hear it's uh, bass control. Black metal version has a bit more bass control. Probably, you know, I think it's because of material, because metal is harder and it has a bit less resonance. But maybe it's my assumption is wrong, but just a tiny bit of uh, low resolution and uh, probably even a bit wider stage but also difference isn't big so you know difference isn't huge just as slight small so if you want to save some money or if you like uh, acryl version you won't lose much with uh, acryl version it's really good too and uh, speaking about pairing they don't require some powerful source but they require some entry level dub or mid range dub to provide them enough control. And about genres, actually, I like them with almost all genres, but vocal is place where they shine. Vocal jazz, classical vocal, some classical rock, for example, it's it's genres that allows them to show their strongest parts. And of course, properly recorded tracks uh, that allows you to enjoy this huge spacious stage. And a few words about comparisons, but as usual when I came to this part I forget all models that exist in this price range. My traditional uh, reference point in the $100 segment is uh, Austria KC09. They are a bit more warmer, but with a bit sharper treble, but they have less, a bit less resolution and uh, of course, their stage is smaller, so I'd say that the Sonic is a bit better in in general representation. Models like, uh, I don't know, KZ-AS-16, they are tuned differently, it's multi-balanced armature, so they are more resolving and uh, less weighty and sounding thinner. Well, probably let's do it in a traditional way. If you are interested in some compression, just to write in the comment and I will try to do my best to write at least a few words about the difference, but I won't try to recall something else. So, you know, I really like that I've got an opportunity to uh, to listen to the recent uh, Visonic models because it's uh, they are developing, they are improving in many aspects, but they are keeping their signature sound that was so popular five years ago. And actually, I like that uh, they providing a bit different approach to the sound that is than uh, typical one nowadays. They don't trying to make hybrids and uh, they making affordable but nicely sounding dynamic drivers. In some near future I will also review VS9 and it's also a great model but that was VS7 uh, transparent and um, black metal version. Thank you for attention.